Hey guys, this week in the Rundown, we're talking about SecNav's Innovation Awards program. We have some news on uniform updates, and we're looking at the Force of the Future initiative. SecNav is rewarding innovative sailors with cash as part of SecNav's Innovation Award program, which is now asking for sailors to submit their ideas that could benefit the Navy. You can submit your idea in multiple categories, including robotics, data analytics, additive manufacturing, innovative leadership, and more. Only the best ideas will be chosen, so bring your ideas that you really believe will make a difference. To submit an idea, visit secnav.navy.mil slash innovation for the forms and instructions. Next, more changes to Navy uniforms to take effect October 1st. Here are some of the big ones. The Navy blue coverall will be used only for dirty work. Sailors will wear just their names on the coveralls, no rank or other insignia. You still have to maintain two pairs of these coveralls in your sea bag. Also, effective immediately, flag officers may now wear either a command at sea or command ashore insignia pin they earn before making flag rank in the post command position only. Finally, I was able to talk to the Chief of Naval Personnel, Vice Admiral Bill Moran about DOD's Force of the Future initiative. The initiative seeks to retain the Navy's highly skilled sailors by reforming the Navy's personnel system to be more competitive with the civilian market. Here's a bit of what CNP and I talked about. If sailors would just recall all the things we've been talking about you know, over the last year uh, about how to attract and retain our great sailors, uh, all you got to do is think about future uh, force of the future uh, effort in DOD as a much larger version of that across all the services. Check out the full interview on Navy Live. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.